Welcome to the video. In this video we're going to be looking at how you set up a timer on this radio. Now this is the Turnergy Evolution radio that we looked at recently. You can go and watch the review video here and the menu system is also very similar to all of the i6S radios. We've looked at loads and loads of different ones of those and if you're interested in looking at the kind of bigger brother of this that looks more like a traditional radio then we have a full playlist that you can go and watch as well. But the reason that we're doing this particular video and talking about how to set up timers is because we've had a request from a subscriber. So Bumpy a Drake 960, apologies if I've said that wrong, you can absolutely set it up in the way that you describe. So let me very quickly show you how it all works. We'll power on the radio and then here we have timer one set for five o'clock and then as soon as I set the timer running it counts down and then when it gets to the end it'll beep and then by flicking the switch at the top, it'll reset. So let me just zoom in a little bit, and I'll go through how you set something like that up. So here we are looking at the screen. There are actually two timers that we can play with. I've set up timer one to count down for five whole seconds, but and I've set it up so this little switch in the middle counts it down, and as soon as it gets to zero, we get that little beeping noise, and it stops. There we go and by flicking the switch back it resets it. Now to set the timers up you actually have to click on the timers. Now with everything else on the radio you'd normally click on that part of the screen to get into the menus. With the timers you actually click on the timers themselves. Now here's the two timers that we can play with. The first one is timer one and the second one is timer two. Now by the side of each, so timer two with start, reset, setup, up, and ASI are all for that second timer. So let's set that second one up and you can see how that's working as well. Now the problem with this is if you press reset or setup or those things it comes up with this kind of error saying no active. So the first thing we've got to do is tell it how we want this thing to turn on and off. And we can assign it to both the reset switch and a null switch. Now at the moment we have nothing set up so we're going to say enable is going to be switch C in the down position. Reset is going to be, we could put it on any switch, switch C in the up position. So by moving that switch, switch C will be able to turn it on and off. And we only have three switches here, we have the one in the middle and the two on the shoulders. So let's go back, say yes for sure. The next thing we can talk about then is what we want the mode to do. We can either have it counting up, so it starts zero, zero and counts up as the timer runs. We can have it set for down, where you can set it for something like two minutes and at the end of two minutes it does that little beep. Or you can set it for down up, which is the bottom one, where you can set it for something like uh, five seconds, it'll count all the way down. Once it gets to zero, it'll beep, and then it will start counting back up. The problem is, is that you can't really see the difference between the two at a glance. You have to watch it for a moment to see which way the numbers are going. So the next thing we can do then is, at the moment it's set so that when we flick the switch, because it's going to count up, it's going to start from zero, zero, zero. So we can actually still see the timer while we're on the screen. So if I start the timer by flicking the switch down, there it goes, it's running. And actually, if we go back to the main screen, there is timer two banging away, and we put it to the middle position, it stops. If we put the switch to the top position, it resets it. But you want it to count down. So what we're going to do is in timer two, we're going to set it to count down. And then once we've done that, it'll default to five minutes, but we can say set up. And now we can actually change the numbers to whatever we want. So if I wanted a two minute countdown, there it is, two minutes is set, go back, are you sure? Yes. So now if we go all the way back, there is timer two set to two minutes. If I flick the switch to the bottom position, it starts to count, and there it is, counting down, the middle position will stop it, top position will reset it. So the way I tend to do this, I only tend to use one of the two timers on the radio, I tend to use the top one and I tend to just control it on this radio with this little middle switch because I find that that's the one I remember to flick and uh, it is easy to do everything. So hopefully that helps explain how to do it. You need to make sure that for the mode 
for the timer that you're interested in, you have it set to count down or you have it set to count down up. Once you've done that, you can go into setup, choose the time that you're actually interested in that you want to count down from, and then also in assist or assign, then you have to set up the switches that you're gonna use on the radio to both reset the timer and also start the timer running as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless 360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.